Now, my next guest, she was a Love Islander, she turned into a reality star and now a documentary maker. And with her latest documentary, Olivia Atwood is taking on the trolls. What do you get out of this? Like, what, you make you feel good? These are some of the very sexual messages that I get constantly from various different people. They're so horrendous. I mean, it's abhorrent. The journalistic side of me is really excited to sit down with this guy who's a convicted troll, but the human side of me, I think, is a little bit scared. What kind of person says things like that? Well, Olivia joins me now, and it's fascinating because you look at both sides. Yeah. We saw you there with Shirley, Shirley Ballas, and I, I just don't understand why somebody like that gets such vile trolls, but also you talk to somebody who does it. Yes. Did you get to the bottom of what was going on in somebody's mind that makes them think it's OK to do that? So we spoke with a convicted troll. Mm. We actually didn't manage to connect with anyone who currently trolls people right. online, which I think marries into that concept that people often who troll don't want to be identified. No, of course they don't. They don't want to own up to the things they say. Because they never see it to your face. No, never. exactly. And I think that's the problem we have, is that the parallel... Well, there is no parallel to ha between how people conduct themselves on the streets and mm -hmm. in real life versus mm -hmm. online. And with the convicted troll we met, and I spoke to him about what was going on at his time in his life when he did that, he said he felt very low. Mm -hmm. He felt like no one cared about and no one was listening to him. And what happened was when he wrote these nasty comments online, a few other people then started retweeting his tweets, liking them. And actually what he said, he got addicted to the, the recognition from other trolls. Jeez. So I think as so it humans, feeds on itself, yes. Olivia, and it I think research shows that a lot of people who troll are actually quite intelligent, as in they know how to cut where it hurts, yeah. but they lack empathy in terms of the pain it's causing. And a lot of the time, the motivation is just to be heard and seen, which I know, which it doesn't make an excuse for it. And, and you see the people we met during the film, all different walks of life, mm. the impact it has awesome. is huge. And you yeah. can see someone like someone like Shirley, you know, she's a grown woman, loads of experience, you know, she's she's incredibly strong and brave and all of that. But you know, when you were talking to her, you could really tell how much this hurt her. Massively. Some of the okay, some of the things were just horrible, but some are really disgusting. Yes. And I don't know, and it's so it's one of these things, isn't it? I always say to people, don't give these people the power. No. But it's very, very difficult to not let that hurt you. Of course well, it is. Shirley made a point which, you know, she humanised it in the sense that she was like, yes, I know we're told to ignore this and it's just mm -hmm. online, but this is a real human being that has written this to me. And she, she said it, it in fact impacted how safe she feels on a day-to-day -day basis, just go around doing her stuff, because she's thinking... Mm -hmm. I think the generation now, unfortunately, they're being sort of, you know, generalised this where they think it's kind of normal. Whereas she was like, from my generation, I'm just thinking this is someone who's at home written this, how do I know they're not a danger to my actual safety? Exactly. Which I think is a really fair point. It, well, it is a fair point. Yeah. When you think about what's happened in the past, there's just that, I mean, recently, we've been talking recently about the Netflix documentary on Jill Dandy. Absolutely. You know, these horrific things, very uncommon, but sadly, they do happen. And it is scary, and it is, it's that thing of, it's it's just so, it's just so sad, isn't it? Because yeah. you, look, you were in Love Island, you would have got trolled. Yes. It kind of comes with, being on that show, it shouldn't. No. But it does. And how do you protect yourself and so, everybody else? For me, obviously, I have experienced, I'd say, you know, I, 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 what I said at the top of the film is I wouldn't say, luckily, for whatever reason, I've never been trolled to the extent that some of the people I met with had. It, it, but I have seen it and I've experienced you know, unpleasantness online. Mm. Um, and it, you know, it came very thick and fast after Love Island from being, you know, it's someone that kind of used social media as and when, and then sure. all of a sudden it was like, whoa. Of course. Um, and it was a quick, <laughs> steep learning curve. And I think my personality is, you know, I'm quite stubborn and I'm quite, you know, I'll just block it, yeah. you know? But I think, that, and that's fine. And I've made a very conscious decision to stay in this industry for the last seven years and to be on social media. And that's something that, you know, it, like you say, it shouldn't be a downside no, of it, it but shouldn't. we learn and we cope with it in the best yeah. we can. Whereas, you know, Kids going through school, oh. they just, why should they learn just, just to think that's normal when it's not? No, exactly. And it's that thing of when I was growing up and if there was a bit of bullying, you went home to your mum. Absolutely. You were able to be safe in your yeah. house. But now, of course, with your device, and we cannot say to young people just 
get rid of it because no. you can't, it's not a sadly, you, can't, you can't do that. No. It's, it's impossible and it's so, so difficult. And you know that, you know, 99% of, of call, you know, people are saying, oh, nice things. And then there's one and it will get you. Of Absolutely. course it will, because we're human beings. Absolutely, yeah. But for goodness sake, I always say to myself, and I would always say to anybody who's going through this, they troll David Attenborough. Yeah. I mean, I, come on. Yeah. Who could ever? I mean, he is I just, the best human being on the planet. Exactly. And if you're doing that, there is clearly something wrong with you. And I guess, in a way, you should feel sorry for these people. Yeah. I mean, no one that's happy. Pity them. Pity them. Yeah. No one that's happy is behaving that way no. online or in real life. Yeah. And it is, you know, hurt people hurt people. You know, it's a kind of a, you know, expression that's used, but it is very true. And yeah. um, but uh, what I think it's not acceptable for that to be an excuse. And that's why I think, you know, the social media platforms have to do more to make, there are a level exactly. of accountability. There has to be steps I taken agree. that, you know, as we found making this film, it is just too easy for people to hide, unfortunately. And that's why I think there's no deterrent. Well, exactly. And if there was, then it would be a lot better. On a much happier note, yes. are we going to see you in the jungle? Because remember, you had to leave because you weren't very well. Yeah. What's going well, I on? turned out to be actually fine. That's I know, the worst that was the thing. I know. But they were, the being, they were being really careful. They were being careful. They were, they were you know, doing their, you know, their job to look after me. But um, at some point, I would love to return. That's so, what I, I, I okay. would love. I feel I like owe it to everyone. Unfinished so business, right? Unfinished business. Absolutely, <laughs> Lorraine. Absolutely. Well, we would like to see you in there because I think much. you would kick ass. Thank and you. it's so good to see you. And Olivia's, uh, Olivia Atwood versus the Trolls, it's called. It's available. You can actually see it um, right now on ITVX, <laughs> but wait till the end of the show. That would be nice. Thank you, Olivia. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much.